So once again, welcome to another vlog. So we are now in quarter 4, week 3 in mathematics. So our topic today is about reading electric and water meter. Ayan. So paano nga ba natin binabasa or kinocompute ang ating electric consumption and water consumption. Ayan. So sabi dito, the electric meter measures the electric consumption. Of course, electricity is measured in kilowatt hours. So, we are going to use the KWH or kilowatt hours as, an, as our unit here kasi nga electric. But, kapag water naman, the water meter measures the water consumption. So, it measured in cubic meters. So, we are going to use cubic meter. Okay po. So, in electric, we are going to use the kilowatt hour. And then, for water, we are going to use cubic meter. Ayan. So, as you can see, eto, nakalagay dito, eto yung device na ginamit or the electric meter. Ayan. So, mag-start muna tayo sa electric meter. Ayan. So, eto yung mga dapat nating tandaan kapag tayo ay nagko-compute ng ating consumption sa ating kuryente. Ayan. So, sabi dyan, ang number one, when reading an electric meter, read and write down the numbers as shown on the dials from right to left. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nating basahin at isulat mula sa kaliwa pa kanan. Ayan. And then, number two, when the pointer is directly on a number, look at the dial to the right. Ayan. Lagi daw nating tingnan to the right, at the right side gumbaga. Ayan. If it has passed zero, kapag ito raw, ito raw ay lumagpas sa zero, use the next higher number. So, gagamitin na natin yung kasunod niyang number or the next higher number. If it has not passed zero, kung hindi naman siya lumagpas sa zero, so use the lower number. So, gagamitin natin yung mas mababang number. Ayan. So, later, we will explain it clearly. Ayan. I will give an example. And then for number 3, record the number shown by writing down the value of the dial to your extreme right first and the rest as you come to them. Uh, should the hand of a dial fall between two numbers, use the smaller of the two numbers. Ayan. So let's have an example to better understand that. Ayan. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, itong mga parang clock dito, ito yung dial or dial clock. Sabi dyan, we are going to read it and write the, the, the dial, kung ano man ang nakalagay dyan, from left to right. So, from here, papunta dito. Ayan, or from dial 1 to dial 5. Ayan. So, start tayo dito. etong unang example. Ito lang yung ibibigay ko. Ayan. So, in dial 1, as you can see, yung arrow niya or the dial is nakaturo po siya sa 5. Kapag ang dial ay mismong nakaturo sa number, so you're just going to write that number. So, dahil siya ay nakaturo sa 5, kung makikita nyo, ayan, isinulat siya dito na 5. Ayan, 5. And then, the dial 2 or in the second dial, as you can see, etong arrow na to, ayan, Ayan, sa ating second dial, eto, yung arrow, ang arrow ay nakatutok sa pagitan ng 2 and 3. Sabi dyan, we are going to pick or write yung nasa um, kanang parte. Ayan, so makikita natin dyan kung i-imagine natin yung nasa kanang part dyan is yung number 2. Or, sabi dyan, kapag ang arrow ay nakaturo sa pagitan ng dalawang number, we are going to use or choose the lower number. Ayan. So, alin ba dyan yung mas mababang number? So, between 3 and 2, yung mababa po dyan is 2. Kaya, ang sinulat po dito is 2. Ayan. So, ang second dial natin dito is 2. Next, the third dial, eto yon. So, ayan. Kung makikita natin, nakaturo yung arrow sa pagitan ng 8 and 9. Although, mas malapit siya sa 8, pero hindi siya nakatutok exactly sa 8. Ayan. Again, kapag yung arrow ay nakatutok between two numbers, lagi nating pipiliin or isusulat ang smaller number. So, ang smaller number sa 8 and 9, that is 8. Kaya, ang nakasulat dito sa third dial ay 8. Ayan. 
Next is the fourth dial or yung dial 4. Ito na yon. So as you can see, yung arrow is again nakatutok sa pagitan ng 3 and 4. And then, yung mas maliit dyan na number is 3. Kaya ang fourth dial natin is 3. Ito na po yun. And then for the last and the, the last or the fifth dial, ayan, yung arrow ay nakatutok sa pagitan ng 2 and 3. Ang smaller number dyan ay 2. Kaya ang um, sinulat dito ay 2. So now, um, base sa binigay na example, yung reading natin ay naging 23,825 kilowatts hour. Ayan na po yung ating consumption for that halimbawa particular month. Yan yung reading for that particular month. Ayan. So, dun pa lang po tayo sa reading. Ayan. So, itinuro ko lang po sa inyo kung paano po ang pagbabasa ng dial sa electric uh, meter. Ayan, eto na po yung mga dial. So, basta tatandaan nyo lang na kapag nagbabasa kayo ng dial, um, kapag nakaturo sa number yung mismong um, arrow, so yun na po mismo yung number na isusulat nyo. But once na nakaturo ito sa pagitan ng dalawang number, lagi nyo pong pipiliin yung maliit na number. Just in case po, nakaturo yung number sa pagitan ng 0 and then 1. So, alin po ba yung mas maliit na number dyan? That is 0. Kaya ang pipiliin nyo po is 0. Pero kapag nakatutok yung arrow sa pagitan ng 0 tsaka 9, ang pipiliin nyo po is 9. Magtatanong kayo, bakit pipiliin ng 9? Is mas, mal eh, mas maliit yung 0 compare sa 9. Parang katulad lang yan ng saklak. Mas umaga, less than yung 12 compare sa 1. Kasi nga, kinoconsider dyan yung rotation or yung tinatawag na clockwise. Kaya ganon. So, ganon din po dito sa dial. Kapag sa pagitan ng 0 at 9, lagi nyo pipiliin ang 9. Okay po? Basta tatandaan nyo na kapag 0 and 1, of course, mas maliit ang 0, kaya pipiliin nyo yung 0. But, tatandaan nyo na kapag ang kaso ay 0 at 9, lagi nyo pipiliin ang 9. Okay? Now, proceed na tayo dito sa ating water meter reading. Ayan, so tapos na tayo kung paano magbasa sa electric. Ngayon naman, sa water naman tayo. Ayan, sa water meter naman, sabi dyan number 1, so start reading from left to right. So opposite po siya ng um, electricity. So sa electricity, yung pagbabasa is from um, right to left. So ito naman po ay from left to right ayan, or clockwise. Ito na yung tinatawag na clockwise. So read the number by the pointer of the dial. When the pointer is between two numbers, the lower number is recorded. So katulad lang po ang pagbabasa doon sa electric. And then number two, if the pointers appears to be exactly on a number, check the next lower dial to the right to find out the correct reading. If the dial on the right has passed zero, then use the number the pointer is pointing to on the dial you're reading. If the dial has no pa has not passed zero, then make make use of the smaller on the dial your reading. So, katulad lang po siya ng sa electric. Ayan. And then, for number 3, record the numbers from left to right. So, ang pagkakaiba lang is we're going to record the number from left to right. So, anyway, so, dito ay hindi natin ipapakita yung dial or yung dial clock or mer or katulad ng sa electric na meron pa ng um, tawag dito yung parang clock. Okay, so dito kasi gumamit na tayo ng odometer. So dito sa odometer, makikita nyo meron agad siya ng number. Parang, I mean, naka-straight ang ayos niya. Ayan, so we are just going to write the numbers na nakasulat dyan. Okay, so hindi na katulad ng sa electric na meron pa ng ganito. Although meron pa naman ng mga water um, reading meter reading meter na naka ganito pa siya. Meron pa ng mga dial. Ayan. So, dahil dito, ang binigay na example is wala. So, hindi na natin yun ipapakita. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, dahil halos parehas lang naman yung rule ng pagbabasa ng um, water reading doon sa electric reading. So, ngayon, aalamin na natin kung uh, magkano yung 
I mean, aalamin natin kung ilan yung na-consume nating kilowatts hour or cubic meter. So, yun na po yung i-compute natin. So, dito, hindi natin aalamin kung magkano yung babayaran nyo. Okay? So, hindi natin dito aalamin kung halimbawa sa isang buwan ay ilan yung babayaran nyo. Dito, ang kinocompute lang natin is um, yung na-consume yung kilowatts hour for the kuryente and then the cubic meter for the water. Kung magkano, hindi magkano, kung ilan yung na-consume nyo, yun lang. So, hindi magkano, okay? So, hindi natin i-compute kung ilan ang babayaran nyo or magkano yung babayaran nyo, okay? So, sabi dito, computing electric and water consumption, eto lang naman ang kailangan yung tandaan. So, to compute for electric and water consumption for a particular period of time, simply subtract the previous reading from the present reading. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is kung um, nag-reading ngayon, so yung reading ngayon, tapos nag Uh, yung reading before, ima-minus nyo lang. So, bali, present reading minus previous reading is your current consumption for that particular reading. Kung kuryente man yan or tubig man yan. Ayan. So, eto na nga. So, let's have an example. Sabi dito, Melvin made a record of his electric consumption. Last month, he was able to consume 125 kilowatts hour. Last month, sabihin natin, April. Ayan. So, when he checked his digital electric meter, the meter reading is 199 kilowatts hour. So, ang nakonsume nila is 199 kilowatts hour for this month, for the month of May. So, how many kilowatt hours did Melvin consume this month? Ayan. So, sabi ko nga, present minus past. O kaya, present minus previous. Ayan. So, ayan na nga. Ang present dyan is 199 kilowatts hour. So, ayan na yun. Nakalagay na dito, 199 kilowatts hour. Then, minus or subtract. Ayan. Which is, ang previous is 125 kilowatts hour. So, ilalagay natin dyan, 125 kilowatts hour. So, kapag sinabtrack natin yung, one, yung 125 sa 199, so, the difference is 74 kilowatts hour. So, yan na yung consumption nyo. 74 kilowatts hour. Ayan. So, kung aalamin nyo kung magkano yung babayaran nyo, is dapat alam nyo kung magkano yung Um, halaga per kilowatts hour kasi base sa balita uh, so base kasi ngayon uh, pumapatak na yung per kilowatt hour is parang pumapasok siya sa sa amount na 4 to 5 pesos pero depende po yan kasi di ba may meron ng biglang taas meron ng baba depende po so depende sa amount na um, sinabi nila ngayon for for kilowatt hour so ayan Bale, ang kinocompute lang natin dito is yung consumption nyo, kung ilang kilowatts or yung na-consume nyo. So, hindi natin dito inaalam yung amount. So, just in case you want to know the amount, so dapat alam nyo po yung um, amount per kilowatt para i-multiply nyo na lang yung kilowatts or doon sa amount. Ayan. So, for water consumption naman, katulad lang din naman nun, sabi dito, Darlene made a record of her water consumption, her previous reading or yung reading nung April is 113. And her present reading, ngayon naman nung nag-reading, yung reading niya is 254. Ayan. So, sabihin natin 254 cubic meter or yung katulad ng dito sa taas or the HCF or the 100 cubic feet. Pwede namang ganyan. Ayan. So, again, ang gagawin natin is present minus previous. Ayan. So, dahil ang present niya ay 254, so ilalagay po natin dyan. And then, minus the previous, so which is 113. So, kapag may minus natin ito, so the difference is 141 cubic meters. So, yan na yung consumption nyo para sa buwan na to. For the month of, uh, from April to uh, Mar ay, from, from April to May. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ang nakonsume nyo sa water is o nila Darlene ay 141 cubic meter. So, again, kung aalamin na naman natin kung magkano ang babayaran, kasi 
Um, sabi natin, um, relate ko sa water bill namin. Ang water bill namin is pumapatak na ang per cubic meter niya is nasa 28 pesos, 28 to 29 pesos. So, kapag gaganon, ang gagawin nyo is just multiply to um, cubic meter na na-compute nyo. So, yun na yung magiging amount ng babayaran nyo. Kumbaga, yun na yung estimated amount. So, pwedeng bumaba or pwedeng tumaas kasi hindi natin alam yung exact amount per cubic meter or per kilowatts or kasi nababago yun eh. So, nababago yun depende sa pangangailangan kasi minsan may kailangan ayusin or Um, nagkukulang sa um, supply. So, nagbabago yung depende po sa supply. Ayan. So, ayan po. So, ganyan lang po ang gagawin nyo kapag magbabasa po kayo ng water and then electric uh, meter reading. So, just follow the steps above kung paano po binabasa yung electric and then water um, meter reading. And then, for the consumption, you're just going to subtract. Kung baga, present minus previous lang po. Present consumption minus previous consumption is your consumption for that particular month. Ganun lang po. Ayan, so, noting na natin ang inyong activity. Ayan, so, dito sa learning task 1, ang gagawin nyo lang naman is you are going to um, write kung ano yung dial na ipinapakita. So, ang gagawin nyo dito dahil electric yan, so you are going to write from left to right. So, saan nakaturo ang dial na to, ilalagay nyo dito. And then, for the second dial, saan naman siya nakaturo, and then ilalagay nyo dito. Yan, basta po ang pagsusulat is from left to right. Ayan. And then for um, learning task 1 again, pero parang second part na to, dito naman po is binigay na yung reading. Ang gagawin nyo na lang is kayo ang maglalagay ng arrow dito sa dial. Okay, so pwede nyo naman pong i-exacto. Halimbawa sa 3, ituturo nyo talaga sa 3. Kasi pag ganun, sure kayong tama yon. Pero kung gusto nyo medyo... Katulad ng nasa pagitan, basta alam nyo na kapag nasa pagitan ng dalawang number, laging pinipili yung mas maliit na number. Pwede namang ganon. Ayan. So, basta kayo ang maglalagay ng arrow kung ano yung number na sinasabi po dito. Ayan. And then, eto na nga pala. Actually, kasi parang second part. First part lang pala tong dalawa. And then, for the second part, so again, you are going to compute for the consumption. Eto na nga yun. You are going to subtract. The previous reading from the present reading. Again, present minus previous lang po yan. And then, the answer here, dahil ito ay electricity, so ang sagot dyan ay lahat na sa kilowatts are. And then, ito naman, dahil ito ay water reading, so lahat ng sagot dyan ay nasa cubic meter. So, basta ang gagawin nyo lang, you're going to subtract present minus previous. So, yan na yung inyong consumption. Ayan. So, medyo wala na akong energy pero sana ay naunawaan nyo at may natutunan kayo. So, that's all.